Hi, I just want to share today a meditation that I did with some of my karate students. And uh, it was really fun and quite magical. And so I want to put it up here on YouTube so any children can really enjoy taking a magical journey uh, to a creativity cave and a magical garden. Uh, lots of cool, fun things happening in this little meditation. So uh, enjoy. I'd like you guys to just relax your body, getting nice and comfortable. And you're going to take a nice deep breath in and let it out. Just really relaxing your body and taking another deep breath in, gently letting it out. And take one more deep healing breath in, filling up your belly and holding it for six seconds. And then gently letting it out slowly, just letting your breath out. And now just allow yourself to breathe easily, really relaxing, feeling your body relaxing. And I want you to imagine that there's this beautiful bright star above your head. And this star is very special to you. It's as if it's your own star. It's really, really bright and it shines down only upon you. You each have your own star and it shines only on you. We all have our own personal star that's always shining upon us always supporting us with really good energy. And today, this star is actually filled with rainbows of color, rainbow colored light. And these lights are just shining down, streaming down into the top of your head. And first there's this really bright red light. It's the first color in the rainbow, which is also the first color of your energy centers in your body. It's at the root, it's a chakra. We have energy centers in our body called chakras. And one of them is usually the color of red. And that's all the way down at the bottom of your tailbone at the end of your spine. And so I want you to imagine that you're now bringing this beautiful sparkly red light into your body right down your spine, all the way to the very tip of your spine. That's where the red energy center is. And this energy center is the one that keeps you feeling safe and secure. But the light doesn't stop there. It keeps going all the way down through your legs, to your toes, and out into the ground. And guess what? It doesn't even stop at your toes, right? It just keeps going down into the center of the earth, all the way down. And just imagine that this red light is like two beams of light, of energy that are connecting your feet all the way to the center of the earth. And it wraps around the center of the earth and it's holding you grounded and safe and secure to the earth. It's like gravity only we're using this red, these red light beams that are allowing you to feel safe and happy and secure in your life and on the earth. And so now I want you to imagine that the next rainbow color, which is orange, that this star now is sending down this orange light and it's going down into your body and it travels down to your second energy center. And this is an orange energy center. And it's, it, the center is actually right below your belly button. This orange energy is the one that has to do with your relationships, with your family, with your friends, animals. And this orange light is now filling up that whole area of your body, just filling you up this beautiful orange light. And now here comes another light. This time it's a yellow light. This is the third light. And it goes down through your body 
to right above your belly button a couple of inches and right below where your ribs come together. And that's that third chakra. That's the one that takes on this energy color of yellow. And this is like a power center. It's that yellow power, like the lights are on and you get lots of ideas and you're able to make them happen in your life. It's your power to make things happen the way you want in your life. And so now this area is just being filled with this beautiful yellow light. And now here comes the green light coming down. This is the fourth light and it goes right into your chest and into your heart. This is the light that works with love. The love you have for all the people and all the animals in the world, all the plants for everything. And now here comes a blue light. And the blue light is the fifth light and it goes right into your throat and it's a light blue color, right? A light blue right into your throat. And this is a light that's all about communication. And now that beautiful bright star is just sending you down this beautiful energy and it allows you to be able to speak things and to be able to create things the way that you express yourself in the world. Oh, here comes another color. Now the star is sending down this purple light. This is the sixth light, and the sixth light is very special light. This is the light, this light is all about your creativity and your ability to just know things. It's like your psychic abilities. It's called the third eye right there in the center of your head. It's actually, you took a line between your ears and then the front and the back of your head, it's right in the middle there. And it's like, you just have this ability sometimes when you just know things and you don't even know how you know it, or you're just about to say something that the person next to you says, it's like when coincidence happens and you kind of know things or the phone rings, and you're like, oh, I bet you that's my friend. And you pick up the phone and it is, because you know. So that's what this light's doing. It's helping you to be able to really trust that you really know a lot more than you think you know and that you have the power to be able to know things. And so now here comes the seventh light. And this is the brightest white light you can ever imagine. It's super sparkly. And this light is the light of your soul. This energy part of you, you are energy. And so that beautiful, bright, brilliant, sparkly light, that's really your true essence. That's 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 your superpower. That's where you can just be you and just like you and don't have to be like anybody else because who you are, the uniqueness about who you are is your superpower. And that's what makes you really special. And so now you have that light and it connects up to the heavens, to the universe. And it's really supporting you and helping you to feel so loved and so happy. It's now just observing as your whole body sort of turns into this beautiful pole of light. It's like a rainbow light pole. All of those colors are all going up and down your spine and it's glowing and that light is glowing and getting bigger and bigger. And now that light is filling up your whole body and it's actually going out of your body and it's making this beautiful bubble all around you, above you, below you. It's like, it doesn't matter if there's a floor under you, that bubble still goes under into the floor. Wherever you go, this bubble is above you, it's below you and it's everywhere around you. And you are in the center of it. How magical and how awesome. The colors are shining all around you. It's a beautiful light show. And it's coming from you. These are the colors of you that are in your body, all your energy centers. And these colors within you assist you in being very magical. And they all work together to keep your body healthy and feeling good. And your imagination, wow, it becomes super magical. And so what a perfect way to get ready for you to travel to your very own magical garden. 
And now your guardian angel is waiting to wrap you in beautiful golden wings of protection, just wrapping all around you to take you safely to this magical garden. And this angel's wings are very large and very soft. And you love the way they feel around your body. Everyone has their own guardian angel. And that guardian angel takes care of you and protects you always so that you're never alone. So even if you didn't know you had a guardian angel or if you didn't, couldn't sense that you have one around you, you do, we all do. And it's important to remember this and to know that you have someone that you can always call on for help. So your guardian angel is now going to take you to your magical garden, your own special place. But before you enter, I want you to just notice. So there's that garden there. And there are these big gates for the garden. But right outside the gates, I want you to see that really large tree that's there, this huge tree. And this tree is called the worry tree. And I want you to see, actually that worry tree, if you notice, it has a little thing full of notepads and little tiny sticks that you can pin your notepad, your notes to the tree. Because this worry tree, its job is to have you write any worries you have on that little piece of paper. So just imagine now, any worry that you had in your mind, you're writing it on the piece of paper. And then you're gonna take one of those little tree branch, tiny little tree branch things, and you're gonna stick your paper to the tree. So this tree is just gonna take away your worry. So maybe you had, or even an argument, or something you didn't understand with someone else, some kind of upset, or maybe maybe something you don't think you're good enough at, or someone made you feel like you weren't good enough. Those kind of things, your guardian angel wants you to know you're good enough no matter what. Doesn't matter how many mistakes you make, we learn from our mistakes. So anything that worries you, anything at all, you write it on the paper and you can do more than one. You can keep writing. Take that notepad, write, 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 stick them on the tree and leave all your worries behind. The tree will just soak in all your worries and take them away from you. This is what its job is in the world. Its job is to take away your worries. And so now your guardian angel opens that gate to your magical garden. And you're just like, wow, you're looking around. You see so many colors. You see so many things. You can feel the breeze. You can feel the sun. You notice the leaves moving with the soft wind. You notice all the different types of flowers and trees and the animals. Wow. There are so many types of animals, birds flying around. You can, you can hear the animals. Even if you can't see them at all, you just know that they're there and that there's so many. You can just feel the energy of all these animals because they just love you so much. And you notice how the rainbow colors that were part of your bubble, you can see them everywhere. You see them in everything. You see them in the plants, the trees, the animals, the sky. And here comes your special animal friend. Out of all of the animals that are there around you, there's this one. And maybe it's an animal friend you met before, or maybe it's a brand new one that wants to take you on this journey. And so notice which animal is coming to greet you at the gate to take you into the garden. Remember, this is a magical garden. Every type of animal that exists in the world is in this garden. Even some that you didn't even think were real. With your imagination, you can create animals within this garden. So just look out at all these animals and see which one is coming to greet you because one of them really wants to be your guide. It's a special animal friend that you may have never met before, or maybe you have. So notice all you can about this special friend that came forward that wants to be your guide. You can notice the color of his eyes, the texture of its fur, if it has fur, or its feathers. Um, anything you can notice, how many legs it has, 
how it smells, anything. And now your animal friend tells you that he wants to take you to a really cool place within the garden and asks you to follow him. And you're so amazed because magically you can move the same way your animal friends. So if he's a bird, you can fly. If he has four legs, you can run really fast. Perhaps he has some special powers that allows you to both just appear at this magical cave with the snap of your fingers. Boom, like that and you're there. So now just travel with your animal friend to the entrance of this cave. And your friend tells you, this is not an ordinary cave. And you laugh because you already know that. After all, you're in this magical garden and you know that anything you want to make happen is possible because that's what magic is, right? And then your buddy tells you, your animal buddy, that, that where are you going? This cave, this is called the creativity cave. And once you walk in, any adventure you want to create will be. So your buddy says to you, what is it that you want to create today? Or maybe it's something you've been thinking about for a long time. Or maybe it's a wish you had and you want to see how it works out. You want to look into the future and see what happens. Or maybe you want to be surprised and just see whatever wants to happen once you walk in. And so are you ready? You now take a few steps, a few more steps, and whoosh, the magic begins. And now I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes while you create in your very own creativity cave. And as you walk around the cave, you see things just magically appear that you can use for your creation. And it's just so cool. You just have a thought, boom, and there it is. Whatever you think just happens to magically show up. And your animal guide is just loving everything that you're doing. And is just saying, wow, you are the coolest. And so wouldn't it be so cool if you can create like this every day? And then your animal guide whispers and says, you always can create like this. You just have to know that it's true and it's real, that you have magic within you, not just in this cave. And so you continue through the cave and maybe you notice a lot of crystals in this cave. And every now and then there's a crack that allows some sunlight to come into the cave. And when that sunlight comes into the cave through the crack, it shines on the crystals and the whole cave glows with light. And the rainbow of light just appears. So what color is appearing the brightest for you right now? Maybe there's one particular color that's brighter than all the rest. Or maybe you're seeing all the colors. Or maybe it's just beautiful white sparkly light. So, do you need to do to add anything, something special to your creation that is of the color of the light that's shining in? Maybe that light's helping you to put on the finishing touches of your creation. So I want you to spend another moment creating this creation. Maybe it's a dream you have and maybe you see yourself living that dream or maybe you're actually creating a thing of some sort or maybe you're taking, getting a new ability, like ability, an artist's ability, a dancer's ability, um, anything. And so now take your creation that you just made in this awesome cave and pick up a stick from the ground. There's sticks all over, pick up a stick. And you're going to tap on your creation three times. So just imagine, because maybe your creation seems way too big to put into some kind of bubble that you're gonna hold in your hand, but you just kind of shrink it up, put it in the bubble, almost like you're looking at a magic crystal ball. And the thing you just created is now within that ball. So you're going to take your stick 
and you're gonna tap on this beautiful rainbow bubble with your creation in it. So you take that stick and you tap. One, two, three. And just watch as this huge rainbow bubble it's expanding and getting huge. Now it's wrapped around your creation, right? That rainbow bubble is even bigger. It's like that smaller crystal turned into this huge rainbow bubble. And you can see through all the colors of the rainbow bubble and you see your creation, the thing that you made right in the very center. And so now take your bubble with you. So if it's huge, just tap again with your stick, one, two, three, and make it small enough so you can hold it. Maybe it was already small. So you take your bubble with you. You and your animal buddy start to leave the cave. And your animal buddy says, quick, follow me. And he takes you to this huge beanstalk. It's like this plant that just goes all the way up into the sky. And your animal buddy says, quick, follow me. And he has you start to climb up the bean, this, this beanstalk. Goes all the way up into the sky. And he tells you, rub your bubble on your clothes like it's a balloon. And you make it sticky and staticky so that it stays in one place. And he says, put the bubble, after you rub it, put it on my back and it'll stay there. It won't fall off from me and then follow me to the, all the way to the top in the sky up by the clouds on this beanstalk. So you do that. The bubble is sticking to your buddy and you can't believe how fast you can actually climb this beanstalk. And you're just so thankful to have this animal buddy and this guy who's helping you all the way through. And you know that your guardian angel is watching all of this as well. And so you're moving so fast and you're, you're so amazed and thankful to have your animal buddy's ability to move as fast as it can move and make it all the way to the top through the clouds. And you notice that there's this very special cloud that you can walk onto. So you and your buddy step onto this cloud and your buddy tells you that all you have to do to, is to take your bubble, take your bubble now you're on this cloud, you're way up in the sky. And this cloud is just this cushion that you can kind of even bounce on. Everything's really light on this cloud. And your buddy tells you to take your bubble, your rainbow bubble with your creation in it, and to blow it up to the heavens. <sighs> blow it up and watch it go up, 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 up so far that you can't even see it anymore. And he tells you that one day, it will magically appear in your real life, in your everyday life. When the time is right and everything is perfectly set up, your creation will be there for you. And you're just so excited and you're looking forward to the day when this creation actually really does come true in your life. And now you turn to your buddy and you say, how can we possibly get down from here? We're way up in the sky. And he looks at you and he laughs and he says, follow me. And he takes you to this slide, a magical slide that goes right down to your garden. You can imagine that this, this slide, that it, it's any kind of slide that you wish. It can do loopity loops, it can go straight down, it can wiggle around the sky until it goes down to the forest, any way you wish. And just follow that slide down to the garden. And now here you are back in the garden and you thank your buddy for this awesome adventure and tell him that you'll be back, that you'll think of him and you'll take yourself to the magical garden as you fall asleep at night. So you can have beautiful dreams of creating all kinds of things you would love in this garden. And remember there's that worry tree where you can always put your worries onto that tree. So you don't have to carry them around. And then you can just be creating all the cool things you wanna create in your life. And then you thank your buddy for this awesome adventure. 
telling him you'll be back, but that you have to go home now. But you will visit him again. And you'll visit him often, knowing that this place is where you can create anything that you want. And so I want you now to imagine yourself back in your house, no longer at the magical garden, maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes, stretching just a little bit, op opening your eyes if they were closed, and just remembering your magical garden and all that you just experienced. Yeah, that was really cool. And so now you're going to go on and you're going to have an awesome life. Not just an awesome day, week, month, year, an awesome life.